Hello friends, my name is Vinod. Welcome to IRS YouTube channel. Today we will be discussing about RS Mains 2021 Paper 2 Unit 2 Journal Science and Technology Model Answers. Let's get started. Here is the syllabus of Science and Technology. Pause the video and have a look. Our first question says differentiate between nuclear fusion and fusion. It's a very uh, basic question. Nuclear fusion means combination. Nuclear fusion means combination. Combination of two or more atoms to create a large atoms. Whereas nuclear fusion means breakdown. Breakdown of two larger atoms in two smaller atomic particles. Whereas very famous example of nuclear fusion is sun. It naturally occurs and fusion, nuclear fusion's famous example is the atom bomb. So here is the difference in two or more mel, uh, two or more nuclei should be near each other in order to create energy for both to stick together. Needs to have a critical mass and very slow neutron for splitting or occur. Here you can see fusion and fusion from a big atom to dividing into two and fusion means two atom combining one second question explain the role of calcium carbide in the artificial ripening of fruits you know there are certain hormones which accelerate the ripening process of a fruit so basically calcium carbide so basically calcium carbide comes in contact with moisture and it's create acetylene gas which accelerate the process of ripening in the fruits. Other artificial ripening of fruits are such as calcium carbide, ethyl, ethylene, ethylene glycol, ethylene are the some of the example of artificial ripening agents. Next question says what is an OTT platform? The full form of OTT platform is over the top. It is basically on-demand streaming services, refers to any services that delivers content over the internet on-demand. For example, Netflix. Netflix is an example of OTT platform. What is the basic concept of operation of RFID? Give to application of this technology. RFID stands for Radio Frequency Identification. It is a wireless system comprised of two components, tags and readers. I mean a tag and reader. Tag used to transmit, emit some radio waves and reader used to catch using a radio waves as a medium. Example toll collection and wildlife tracking caller. When our Next question. What is the difference between polar satellite launch vehicle and geosynchronized satellite launch vehicle? PSLV is designed to mainly deliver earth observation satellite or remote sensing satellite, whereas GSLV is designed to launching communication satellite. Earth observing satellite needs this kind of circulation. For example, this is our earth north pole south pole if satellites arounds like this it is in the polar orbit if satellite revolves around like this it is in the equilateral it is in the equator polar or you can say geosynchronous polar geosynchronous orbit so those satellites which are meant for communication are placed in this orbit those satellites which are meant for earth observation or remote sensing are placed in this orbit. Write any five benefit of medicine. Write any five benefits of the medical plant Giloy. As you know, the Giloy has a many health benefits and it was very prominent during the pandemic and otherwise it is 
famously used in dengue, chikungunya, etc. So let's see. First of all, it's stop aging. It is an anti-aging, prevent respiratory illness like asthma, cough, cold, and tonsils. Anti-diabetic, stimulates the production of insulin, protects heart against infection, and with its antioxidant properties. It has a antioxidant property, so that that's why it's beneficial for heart. It also boosts our immune system. Other benefits: anti-arthritis, anti-osteoporotic. I mean, after a certain age, our bone density getting lesser. So it helps in those kind of elements also. And by the way, its scientific name is Tinospora cordifolia. What is cryptography, and what is advantage and disadvantage? Uh, the literal meaning of cryptography means secret writing. What is cryptography? What is its advantage and disadvantages? The word crypto literally means concealed or secret, whereas cryptography means secret writing. The ability of exchange messages that can only be read by the intended recipient. For example, I send a text through internet to the B. However, there may be chances that my read my text may be read my text may be read by someone else. So, by cryptography, it was made possible that if whatever I send to party B, it will only be it can only be read by the party B only. Let's see again. What is cryptography, and what is its advantages and disadvantages? Crypto basically means concealed or secret. Something which is secret is known as crypto. Cryptography means secret writing. Means the ability of exchange messages that can only be read by intended recipient. Basically, encryption. to save our message to save our message from any third party intervention or third party breach or any breach of privacy we used to encrypt our data our messages so that's known that's known as cryptography how it works say for example this is the message i encrypted here is a public key and this message goes like this i mean it is got encrypted like this when it reached to uh, this one it needs a key to decrypt this and again this you can see there the same message i mean a message a or party a sent this message it got de decrypted and there again to sorry what is cryptography we seen in the last slide so how it works say for example a a send a message this it got encrypted like this i mean no one can understand what does it mean then it reaches to the sender b sender b i mean receiver b needs a decrypt needs a key to decrypt this so here is the private key through private key it got decrypted and here you can see the same message he can read the advantage and disadvantages advantages confidentiality authentication digital signature are can be protected information against spoofing and forgeries data integrity mean no can alter the data vital playing vital role assuring the user about the data integrity protect the privacy however there are some disadvantages as however there are some disadvantages such as it's prone to hacking require massive computation it's not a game of a layman it's need some kind of expertise sharing a key is a problematic etc what are the 
differences between the previous generation of mobile network and 5G network. As you know, the generation started from 1G. The 1G uses analog signals and was meant only for voice call. And there were problem of dropping of calls, poor quality, low battery of cell phones, etc. Then comes 2G. Then comes 2G. It was introduced in 90s. It work on GSM. It was narrow banded and its bandwidth around 50, 25 megahertz. It can provide services such as SMS, I mean short messaging services, multimedia features and the foremost feature of this generation is internet, internet, introduction to the internet, voice call, short message, etc. Then comes 3G, 3G works on WCDMA technology. It play it can you it uses cdma and gsm also it was known as broadband and it uses the bandwidth around more than 25 megahertz the advanced feature of this generation was high security and international roaming through 3g there was a feature of international roaming and introduction to video conferencing was the prominent feature mobile tv gps then comes 4g 4G also known as long term evolution. It uses a packet switching. It's known as ultra broadband and the bandwidth it uses is more than 100 megahertz. More the bandwidth, more the speed, more the clarity we have. So advantages, high speed, global mobility, high speed applications, mobile TV, wearable devices, etc. Then comes 5G. 5G was introduced in 2018 and it works on waves, microwaves basically. It uses wireless world wide web. It uses 30 gigahertz to 300 gigahertz. You can imagine the speed of this bandwidth. Extremely high speeds, low latency. Latency means low delay. So high resolution video streaming, remote control of vehicles, robots, medical procedures, the, the upcoming uh, technology such as artificial intelligence, machine learning are beneficial only because of 5G technology. Write the objective of missile and strategic system. It was a tough question, name of the laboratory which comprise MSS cluster. The objective of missile and strategic was to design and development of system strategic systems in our country only for our defense and deterrence. It was developed indigenous, indigenous defense system and technology. It ensure product support, product upgrade and end of life replacement. Again, it's established critical infrastructure and facilities for design, testing and evaluation. There are five laboratories who comprise MSS cluster. Let's see. First laboratory, Defense Research and Development Laboratory, Hyderabad. Second one, Research Center, Imarat, Hyderabad. Next one, Advanced Systems Laboratory, Hyderabad. Integrated Test Range, Balasore, Odisha. Terminal Ballistics, Research Lab, Chandigarh. Next question, which property of carbon is responsible for formation of large number of components? You know, com carbon having a multiple, so many, uh, you know, carbon having large number of components. Which properties make it so? Let's see. The property which, which are responsible for formation of large number of components are catenation which means self-linking of carbon atoms to form long chain and the other one tetravalency, tetra means 4 are the two properties of carbon which led to form formation of a large number of carbon compounds. Second one right domestic and industrial application of carbon components such as diamond and graphite. The domestic use of Diamond is jewelry and the industrial use of diamond is to cut 
polish grind glass because of their extreme hardness the use of graphite as a domestic is pencil lead and the industrial use its help slow down the neutrons in the nuclear reaction it act as a it it is used as a lubricant for machine next one give in example of each give an example of each actually give an artificial sweetener sacharin aspartame and food preservatives such as table salt sugar also at, as a food preservatives and the other one vegetable oil also sodium benzo sodium benzoate and ore of zinc calamine zinc blend next question actually this was describe the functioning of human eye and explain any of the refractive defect of vision and its corrective measures you know each eye is constantly adjust the amount of lights it lets in focus in object near and far and produce continuous image that instantly transmit to the brain let's see the functioning of eye first of all let's first of all comes cornea cornea is the thick layer of outermost layer of eye is known as a cornea which let entering the eye which let the light entering to the entering the eye and protect eye and a uh, first layer cornea thick layer of transparent cell that protect the eye and are the principal means of focusing the rays of by refraction on entering the eye it is our outermost layer of the eye second comes pupil pupil is a hole in the iris that lets the light in like aperture of a camera automatically respond to the light level here you can see and then come the ring of muscles control the shape of lens control the accommodation of eye when relax the lens is least curved least powerful then image go to the retina retina layer of light sensitive cells rods and cones changes light energy into electric signal and then through optic nerve it electric signal electric impulses travel to the brain where the image formation is processed other one iris iris is the colored ring of muscle that control the size of pupil when light enters our eye it adjusted the uh, shape of iris how much it open how much it close and the jelly lens find focus rays on the retina by accommodation the problem is myopia we can see that myopia is also known as near sightedness it common vision where we can see objects near to you clearly but object farther away are blurry what happen in this the normal eye you can see here the focal point is on retina however in myopia the focal point is the image form before uh, retina here you can see so it occurs when the shape of your eye causes light rays bend refracted incorrectly focusing image in front of your retina instead of on your in front of your retina instead of on your retina so correction of myopia can be corrected by using concave lens of suitable power explain the concept of real time pcr and what is the ct value in rt pcr test of covid 19 it was a very hard question let's see let's see what is polymer chain reaction first polymer chain reaction is a technique used to numerous copies of to make let's see what is pcr first polymerase chain reaction is a technique used to make numerous copies of a specific segment of dna quickly and accurately okay and this polymerase chain reaction enables investigators to obtain the large quantity of dna that are required for various experiments and procedures for example during 
कोविड दे टेक आर सलाइवा बट दे टुक अ स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ सलाइवा हाउ एवर थ्रू पी सी आर दे कन्वर्टेड दे कॉपीज डी एन एफ ऑफ आर सलाइवा इन टू मल्टीपल सो दैट दे कैन चेक दे कैन ऑप्टेन दे कैन इन्वेस्टिगेट द डी एन ए सो दैट देर so this is the pcr pcr what it does it does it makes numerous copy of specific segment of dna what is real time pcr does it it does monitor the application of target dna molecule to the pcr in real time not at the end as a conventional pcr in pcr the results come results come after the end but in rt pcr the application of targeted dna molecule during real time i mean during same time let's see question number 12 explain the concept of real time pcr rt pcr what is the ct value in rt pcr test of covid 19 so let's see what is pcr first pcr is a technique to make numerous copies of a specific segment of dna for what to enable investigator to obtain the large quantity of dna that are required for various experiment and procedures for example in order to get the report of covid 19 they required too much of dna however they took a small amount of saliva they multiply the saliva's dna into they make numerous copy of dna through our saliva and how they make the numerous copy through pcr technology and at the end they it, it show the result and what is rt pcr rt pcr enables amplification of targeted dna molecule in real time not at the end like conventional pcr and what is ct value ct value stands for cycle threshold during rt pcr test the ct value determines the detectable level of virus in a given sample based on which it is decided if the person is covid positive or a negative basically it is a cut off if one reaches beyond a certain cut off it is a positive it is a covid positive and if one is below from a decided cut off it is a covid negative let's see the presence of infection in the being determined by the ct value okay the cut off ct value determines whether the person should be declared covid positive or not a ct value of below 20, 35 suggests the test in tested individual is covid let's see the presence of infection is being determined by ct value okay the cut off ct value determines whether the person should be declared covid positive or not a ct value below 35 suggests the tested individual is covid covid positive and should take a medication and self isolated quickly however higher the ct value lesser the viral load and lower the ct value higher the viral load 35 they have a cut cut off 35 if the number of ct value if ct value is lower say for example 30 it is covid positive however the viral load is higher if the ct value is 40 it is not a covid positive and the viral load is low in that particular sample here you can see the uh, working of real time rt pcr this is our dna they multiply they first of divided the two hexical uh two stranded dna here then they multiply like this like this and and the result you can see the multiple and and they help it helps in the investigator to find out the viral load 13 question asks mention of contribution of following indian scientist first homi jahagir baba homi jahagir baba was the indian nuclear program Homi Jahangir Bhabha is father of Indian nuclear program. 
He established Tata Institute of Fundamental Research in Bombay and Atomic Energy Commission. He played a key role in formulating a strategy of focusing on extracting power from country's vast thorium reserve. You know, nuclear power can be generated through thorium and uranium. But you know, uranium resources in our country is limited or very less. However, we have a vast source of thorium. He gave the strategy to how to extract power from thorium so that we can generate nuclear energy through thorium. Next one, Sir Moksha Gundam Visveshara. It basically popularly known as Sir M. Visveshara. He was a legendary dam builder, world renowned civil engineer and Bharat Ratna. His birth anniversary is observed as an engineer day in India on 15th September. The engineer day was celebrated on due to his birth anniversary. He was an, he discovered he made an irrigation system with water flood gate and was painted, patented and installed by him at the Khadakwasala reservoir near Pune. He was also known as the father of modern Mysore state. However, he was less famous. Most of the people don't know about much about him. Next one, Satyendranath Bose. He was a professor working in Dekha University in Bangladesh that time. I mean, today's Bangladesh, that was India. Employed a new statical method for counting of photon. He sent his paper to Albert Einstein who recognized the value of his calculation. And the paper turned out to be a seminal one and the Bose statical technique was named Bose Einstein Statistics. It revolutionized, it revolutionized the field of physics in two ways. First, improved the standard model of particle physics and paved way of discovery of gold particle helped Peter Higgs won a Nobel Prize. Though Satyendra Nath Bose himself not awarded a Nobel Prize, however, based on his theory, his contribution, Peter Higgs was awarded Nobel Prize to discover Higgs boson or that particle. So you can see he worked in quantum mechanics, both scientific theory, both scientific, he was awarded Padma Bhushan, etc. Next one, Meghnad Saha, a pioneer in astrophysics. Saha, theory of thermal ionization which explain the origin of stellar spectra. Stellar spectra also known as uh, spectroscopy in that it was used to find out density, weight, distance of stars. One of the most important contribution to world science during 20th century was the first started teaching the training in the nuclear physics in the country. However, he was very less known person. Next one, Har Govind Khurana. Har Govind Khurana was awarded Nobel Prize for interpretation of genetic codes and its function in protein synthesis. He is created with, he is credited with making the first synthetic genes by cutting and pasting different bits of DNA together, which is considered forerunner of PCR and CRISPR Cas9. Basically, he did first gene editing. So it brings to the end of the video and thanks for your time and patience. If you like the video then do the subscribe and hit the bell icon. Please share your suggestion and feedback. Please like if you like the video. If you don't like please tell me in comment box so that I can improve in my content, in my strategy or whatever way you want. Sun loses nothing by providing sunlight. Your subscribes and likes matter a lot. Thank you. See you in the next video. Jai Hind.